traditionally, to write a document, you'd start at the beginning, right? But if you're writing a doc programmatically with the Google Docs API, did you know that it's actually easier to start at the end? Follow along and you'll see why writing backwards makes it easier to perform batch requests for better performance. I'm Anu Srivastava and I'm going to walk you through this tip so you can easily manage your start and end indexes by making your insert text request in reverse. Let's look at an example. Don't worry, for the video, we'll start at the beginning. I have a collection of recipes that need to be moved into docs. Moving information from a database or some other storage into a helpful format is a pretty common issue. The natural solution is to read the recipe information from my storage and then write each piece into my doc. Where it gets complicated is organizing the updates. Here, we have a lot more than just text. We have images, titles, heading, lists, number lists. It's a lot to consider. So let's start with the overview information. Here we have a title, an image, prep time, and then lastly, yield info. We'll use insert text to write the title, and then insert inline image to add the photo, and then insert text again for the yield and prep time. First, let's look at one of the requests. Insert text is just a note of what text should go where. So let's try it out starting from the beginning. We write our heading recipe and the title of the recipe. So today we're making strawberry vanilla pancakes. It's easy enough to add the first word at index one, but then we need to keep track of how long that text was so we can insert that next piece. So the word recipe is six characters. I can then insert the title at index seven. Easy enough, right? But the titles will vary in length from recipe to recipe. So now we have to keep track of each of those. We're gonna have to do this again for every append. Moving on actually makes it worse. So now I need to know precisely how long my text inserts were so that I know where to insert the photo. And then I have to remember that an image has a length of one index, no matter how large the image is. So back to the documentation. This is gonna get real tedious real fast, and I'm already worried about off by one errors. Imagine keeping track of indexes for a really large application with lots of things to insert coming from different places. So here's where our trick comes in. Since you have to set the start index for every insert, what if you started from the end and always inserted to the top of the document? Our batch update insert request will look much cleaner. I'd use a single batch update and order all of the updates in reverse. So start at the bottom, we'd start with insert text for prep time and yield info, then insert inline image for the recipe photo, and then finally, insert text for the title and heading. It's so much simpler when everything starts at one. One batch update request contains all of my edits listed last to first. Remember, a batch update is simply a container for my list of requests. So now I'm starting at the end and finishing with the title and no more tracking indexes. Writing backwards, while counterintuitive, is simpler. So you no longer need to know or even care about the length of each one of your inserts. Ready to try it out for yourself? Check out our documentation where we have a document structure guide that you might find handy and let me know what you think. Happy batching, everyone. Music